Hello Gemini, thanks for clicking on my channel. Welcome to The Journey Home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. Here is your zodiac reading for the days and weeks ahead. Now, let's cut the cards. I shuffled till something flew out. And we have the Seven of Swords. So this can be sneaky energy, someone not being truthful, deception. This could also be if there was an argument and you went to your, you know, respective corners to figure out a different way of approaching a situation, cutting your losses, walking away. Depends on how this read turns out. Your crowning energy is the Princess of Pentacles, the womb of the world, an impregnation of something. That is going to give birth to something quite beautiful. Reminds me of the Empress energy. But uh, the Empress is birthing. This one is the womb. The impregnation. The Hierophant. So some of you could be getting married because you're pregnant. Some of you are... Uh, impregnated with something brand new in your life that you know will come into something beautiful holy pure blessed and it's also a beginning of something new because you have you've been given the keys you've learned your lessons and you're ready to apply apply them to your life So whatever you got impregnated with here is very, very special. The closing of a cycle, the world. What goes around comes around. And death, transformation. The closing of this cycle is this transformation. Seven of Wands, you stood your ground. You know the power you have now. This is what you built. This is who you are. And you stand above the rest. You have magic on your side and a lot of power. Ace of Wands, passionate new beginnings. There's the castle that you're, you're defending. I built this. This seed was planted in me. And nobody gets my baby. Five of Swords, um, backbiting, backstabbing, people who yeah, just gossip. It sees you standing your ground. I mean, you are you have victory over these people, whoever they are. Seven of Pentacles. This is that gestation period. You're at, in the womb of the world here. But here you're wondering when is it going to be born? When is the harvest coming in? You're tired, you're exhausted, and no wonder you've had to stand your ground, hold the castle, what you built, the sneaky energy, backbiting. So yeah, we've got that makes this card all about deception. It's almost like they're trying to come in and steal your harvest. But <clears throat> you're not going to have it. Why? Because you finished out your cycle and you transformed into a very powerful warrior. And now you have this passionate new beginning. And this is a, a, like a reward from spirit. You're showing great strength, courage, bravery, bringing things into reality, keeping your ego in check. Could be dealing with a Leo or a Taurus or an Earth sign or a Scorpio. Four of Wands. Oof. This is about commitment or moving a commitment to a higher level. 
That's also the Twin Flame card, 1111, Four of Pentacles. Maybe you're holding on to that dream. You're holding on to what you believe is right. You're saving your money. And you're holding back your business from others. It's secretive energy as well. You can see he's got his eyes. I think his eyes are closed or he's wearing some pretty wild makeup. Queen of Pentacles. This could be a female uh, mother, girlfriend, sister that is in your life who is very influential, that nurtures you, keeps you grounded. This could you, be you taking on these energies as well. If your female friend or mom or sister is keeping you grounded, well, that makes you a Queen of Pentacles too, doesn't it? She's very organized. If you're taking on this energy, you're being very, you're in a, in a mindset of being organized, organizing things, getting things put in place uh, to build this nursery for this baby that's coming. Let's clarify these cards. Gemini's closed the cycle and transformed into a mighty warrior with a passionate new beginning, overcoming the enemies, still waiting for that harvest, but you showing great strength and courage and your twin flames coming in. I think maybe this four of pentacles, if it's about holding on to I don't see it as holding on to negative energies. It could be that you're holding on to some residual effects of negative energies. This looks like you're holding on to this dream, this, this creation that you're building inside of you. Four of Cups flipped over. I don't know if that's even significant because it flipped over. It didn't flip out. And that is about uh, you're too focused on the negatives of what happened or what's going to happen without seeing what is happening right now. Oh, beg your pardon. A whole bunch jumped. But Gemini, the end result here is this organizational mode you're in I'll take those and this brand new beginning getting rid of all the crap all the baggage all the negativities we're going to clarify the princess of pentacles with the king of wands an unemotional person could be a lawyer doctor judge military person crossing the t's dotting the i's could be dealing with uh, an air sign who's watching you maybe the one who poked you and got you pregnant seven of cups to clarify the hierophant the Hierophant is telling you, I know this is the options card and it can be confusion, but because it's with the Hierophant, this is telling you, you drank all these cups. You learned all these lessons. And you're ready to strike out on your own journey, your path, whatever is uh, being created here. And this card flipped out, so we'll take it. It's the world being clarified by temperance it could be a sagittarius you're dealing with but you're finding balance this close is going to bring balance the gold at the end of the rainbow making that impossible possible this transformation is going to be clarified by a message so i guess the clue here is you'll know your transformation is complete when this message comes in it's one that will bring uh bring you happiness uh, passion towards the path that's being opened up for you 
what you protected and you held on to strongly and saving your money at the same time. Yes, you could be holding on to residual effects of uh, negative energies, but I don't think so. I think you're releasing them, transforming, a new path is opening, and I'm so glad I saved my money because look, you have magic in this card. In other decks, it's the unicorn, but you are mighty in this card. holding on to what is yours, rightfully yours. This is a completion, a finality, a finish, finally finished for this passionate new beginning. The end of that cycle, which brings in, you know, 10 is the completion, one is the beginning or the ace. The betrayal that you suffered It's, it's finished. The Hierophant again. Good Lord. You guys are on a holy journey. These, this, the deception, the backstabbing, the gossiping, these people who were just nasty, they, they got their comeuppance coming. What's beautiful about this is they're going to see you striking out on your own. They're going to see that you have the keys. They're going to see that you were in the right all along. This is about being right and wrong. And you stood in your integrity. And being blessed. They get to see. I often say that you get to see karma play out on other people. But in this case, they see the good karma coming out on you. You can thumb your nose up at them. This harvest could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this is devil energy. Um, this harvest is that you're waiting to come in and you're exhausted. It's because of there was a codependent relationship. Um, holding up this har harvest, some type of addiction, some type of very unhealthy cycle that was going around and around and around holding this up something unhealthy in your life that you need needed to address but it shows that you have great courage bravery and it will take you right to your ten of cups emotional fulfillment joy in the home and you won't be working alone oh my goodness this is about meeting a twin flame alchemy at work two people creating a third pentacle there's going to be equal give and take there's going to be uh work uh, like a partnership you could be uh, deciding to work together in a business a family business four pentacles is going to be clarified with the queen of wands holding on to you've got divine feminine in your lap watching over you guiding you you're in full bloom attractive magnetic desirable everybody wants to get the queen of wands into bed so if this is you you're holding back your energies that those passionate energies to see what's going to happen because the queen of wands knows how to get things done or if you're male and you're watching a queen of wands or there's a queen of wands coming in because you held on to that integrity to me this just all shows gifts of the universe coming in from this work that you've been doing we have wish fulfillment with a queen of pentacles. If finding that, that wish fulfillment, you want that stability. You want that home. You want that nurturing. You want that partner 
who is secure and, and stable in their own right. Whatever the Queen of Pentacles is wishing, it's, it's coming in. This is wish fulfillment. And on that note, I'm going to take it over to the extended in the members area. And for if this resonates for you, the cost for membership is $10 a month. It gives you access to all the zodiacs and all the afternoon delights. And the bonus is, if it resonates for you, ask me to pull a card in, in the comments under the extended and I'll help to personalize it for you to bring it in, in, into a sharper focus. Also, personal readings are $40 till the 1st of August. Uh, ask as many questions as you like and I'll answer as many questions as I can in a 15 to 1 hour period. I, I say that in jest because my readings are I'm not very disciplined in the length of them. They always run too long. Uh, so until I get a timer, I'm not sure how long they're going to last. 15 minutes at the very least. I don't think I've done a 15 minute reading in months. But it is what it is. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope to see you over there and God bless you. Bye for now.